What's cracking? What's cracking, everybody? So listen, y'all asked for it. Here it is. I'm about to do a cooking video. I'm about to show you guys how my truck fries up these shrimps. I'm making shrimp and chips, which is what the American way is called what? Five fries, french fries. So I'm about to peel these shrimp. Show you how to get down, hardy and rinse them and everything. Clean them. Now I just gotta peel the skin, the shell, I mean, not the skin. Yeah. All right. So you wanna, they already deveined. Damn. So pretty much you flop it over on both on sides. You squeeze the tail tip and it push the rest out. By that way, you got all of the shrimp. You got a whole complete shrimp. You don't have to worry about leaving shrimp tips meat inside of the, the tail of the shrimp. See? Bam. That's how I do it right there. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So, I'm about to get the peeling on these. When I get ready to batter them up, you know, I'll just click back in with you guys, all right? Still peeling these joints. It's real tedious. If you a lazy cook, get yours already um, pre-peeled. Make your life a whole lot better, a whole lot easier. Me, I don't mind any of this. It never bothers me. So that's why I do it this way. You feel me? All right, all right. Now let me get some of my seasonings that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use lemon pepper. I'm gonna use a little Creole seasoning. I'm gonna go with a pinch of cayenne pepper. And then I'm gonna go with my fish mix. You feel me? So we about to about to show you how much to sprinkle on this stuff. Now the lemon pepper, you're gonna be stingy with it. You don't wanna make it too 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 much. Go with a little bit of Creole. No, I don't measure it. I eyeball. I've been cooking for quite some years. There you go. And then just massage it into the shrimp. Massage it into the shrimp. And then you let it sit for about two minutes and then you get your grease started. Get your grease started. Now, look, I'm going with olive oil because it can hold a temperature up to 425, something like that. And then when you go with extra virgin olive oil and it goes past the temperature of one, I mean, not one, 325, 350, the temperature gets so hot, then it can become kind of toxic. So I've been meaning to tell you guys a lot about that. I had a, um, a supporter in the comments that actually brought that up and all this time I've been slacking on that bit of information for you guys but with the olive oil olive oil coconut oil all of those types of oils are actually a great healthy fat you got avocado oil all of that that's a healthy fat and with a healthy fat it what means that what it can help you burn some fat not a lot don't think you guys gonna be just putting this olive oil and avocado oil, coconut oil, and all of this on your stuff, and you're just about to be burning 10, 20, 15 pounds. No, it don't work that way. <laughs> it does not work that way. So let me go ahead and let this sit, and then I'll be back. And when I come back, what we're going to do is get the grease started, then we're going to get the fish batter started. All right? All right, so we about to, this is the season. I like to use a Louisiana fish fry. Yes, you can use a fish fry with the shrimp. So you don't gotta be going hunting. I don't do the cornmeal. I don't do all that old school crap like that no more. Unless I'm making hot water cornbread, baby. So as you can see, my container that I use is, 
and I'm gonna put it up inside. Hey, that's what she said. And then I'm gonna um, actually batter the shrimp, get a nice amount ready to where when I drop it in the skillet, it'll start being able to get that nice golden cut. I'm about to lay out a pan with napkins on top to it, where it absorb the excess oil that's gonna be on it. So be keeping it to where it ain't gonna be all super oily, full of olive oil and everything. So we try to keep it clean, even when we keep it dirty, baby, because we eating real food. Real food is what it's about. Real food. Okay, that's how I batter it. Make sure you cover the whole entire shrimp because you want batter on the entire shrimp so you can have that crisp crunch. You don't want to have no wet spots. You want it practically dry all the way through. Now, when you advance like me, you can drop quite a few of them up in there. And then you just... Because you know pretty much you do it like that, you're going to cover all of them. You shake the excess um, batter off. Sometimes I do fish, and I mean, I do beer batter to where I get more of a flaky, flaky crunch um, crust. Let's see. All right, now placing the shrimps in. I'll do them one by one. Lay them on the sides. Yes, it takes a little extra time doing them one by one, but you do it fast enough, they won't cook before you get them all in. They'll still cook around the same amount of time and temperature. Now I'm about to batter up some more. Put this top on it so I can give it that nice little crisp. You know, put the top on it, get a nice little crisp. You want a nice little crunch. You want it crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside. And the same go for your potatoes, your french fries, your chips, whatever you want to call them. The same thing goes for that. You want it nice and crisp on the outside crunchy on the outside, succulent on the inside. <laughs> Try not to let them touch. Try not to let them touch. Now I know some of y'all gonna be like, this the Mac I like to see. I'm still the same Mac regardless, no matter what. I know how to chew gum and rub my belly at the same time. Y'all don't get it twisted and think my 15 minute videos, 10, 15 minute videos, is just taking up my whole day to where that, that's my main focus. This is some stuff that I do that I just don't record. So I decided to let you guys witness me frying some shrimp because this right here would be very uh, beneficial for a lot of you guys out there that still like to eat um, a nice, clean, dirty meal of fried shrimp, seafood, and stuff. You know, there's nothing wrong with treating yourself every now and again to your little fried food. As long as you ain't frying it in vegetable oil, collect all that canola oil and all that unnecessary crap you'll be okay all right okay see get ready take them out lay them on the paper towel so i can absorb the excess um 
oils. Olive oils. If you don't want to eat oily protein. Well, not fried oily protein, shall I say. I know y'all like, damn, Mac Truck, we ain't seen you fry seafood in about eight years. Six, seven years. And you was frying up that tilapia and them shrimp. Yeah. Yeah, guys. I decided to bless my loyal, faithful family members slash supporters with a cooking video that y'all been requesting for quite some time. This is for y'all, for, for each and every last one of you good peoples out there. I hope y'all enjoy this holiday weekend. Stay safe, stay sucker free, stay away from them wallet millings, those cucumbers, and them men that be trying to feed you that shit. Stay away from those people. That is going to be the butt of my joke for quite some time. You know, there wasn't going to be no video without that. Okay, so here we go. This is what we working with. This is how we looking, baby. This is how we looking. Yeah. I know y'all like, damn, Mac, that shit look good. Man, that shit face fire. Y'all go in micro sheet DM and ask them how Mac Truck fried shrimp tastes. <laughs> I had packed some, made some shrimp, packed it to where, because we was going up north on San, San Jose for the expo. That fool was like, man, what you back there eating? I said, fried shrimp. <laughs> that dude was tearing that shit up. <laughs> What's up? All right, guys. So I'm done. I got my own cocktail sauce, Louisiana, as you can see. I use this stuff every time I have my shrimp, right? Bam, right? Dip the shrimp, and I already know. Y'all like, man, we ain't been seeing any Coors Lights. Can't have fried shrimp, fried fish, fried chicken without a Coors Light, baby. But, we look fancy when we got a shirt on, we drink out of a cup. When the shirt is off, we drink out the can or bottle. There you go. So, let's see what this shrimp working with. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, fries or chips, some of you call them. It's good. Well, my good peoples, I'm about to get into this food and I'll holler at y'all later. Until next time, those of you like the video hit the subscribe button hit the likes for the thumbs up uh hit the notifications if you want to make sure that you don't miss any of my videos now i might bless y'all with another cooking video it all depends on how this one do when it comes to the views the likes the comments until next time i'll smell y'all later <laughs>